in this video, I am going to show you different themed sensory bottle and bag ideas. Hi everybody, if you're new here, my name is Bailey and on this channel, I share ideas for doing educational activities with your kids and encouraging them to play with purpose. If that sounds like something you would like to watch on a regular basis, then please consider subscribing. So I recently did a miniature series on sensory bins with different ideas for sensory bins, different materials you could use. I even dedicated a video strictly on non-food sensory materials you could use. And I shared my five best tips when using sensory bins. And in that particular video, I mentioned that sensory bottles and bags are a great option for those who don't want a huge mess. So here are some ideas. So the first idea I'm going to share with you is a sensory bag. Now I tend to think that sensory bags would be more for the toddler age. And that's when I use these with Michael. I actually, when Michael was still less than one years old, I believe. I made him his first sensory bag for Easter with some Easter erasers. And so this is definitely something I have done before and would recommend to those of you with little kiddos. So basically we have two Ziploc bags. The first one is what is holding all of the material. So we have hair gel with blue food coloring, our uh, little ocean animals here. Then we close that up and put a bit of duct tape on it. And then we put that bag inside of another Ziploc bag, sealed it all up, and then we put duct tape all around the edges. So the fact that there are two bags and the duct tape is just going to ensure that there's no leaks or anything like that. We do not want a mess, right? I did make a miniature uh, video that I will be putting on Instagram and Facebook, just a sped up version of how I put this together so that you can really see uh, if you need that kind of visual representation of how to put this together. So this is something that is a lot of fun for toddlers. They think it's fascinating to squish it all around, move the creatures around. Um, I even saw a really cool idea on Pinterest if you just had it with the hair gel. And then they had one car, I think it was inside of here. And then underneath the bag, they had put masking tape of the letter A. And when they put this on top, you could see the masking tape and they used the car to trace the letter. I think that is such a cool idea. So props to whoever came up with that. Uh, but since we're talking about themed sensory bags, I went with the ocean theme, but you can do so much with a sensory bag type of activity. Now this next sensory bag is one I put together with a farm theme. So I only did two sensory bags because my boys are older, I just didn't need to make a bunch, but definitely make these your own. Uh, and everything with this one came from the Dollar Tree. So the pencil pouch, the unpopped popcorn, the duct tape, and the farm animals all came from Dollar Tree. And so basically with this one and pretty much all the rest of the bottles, uh, this is going to be like an I Spy discovery trying to find the objects that are in here. And so with this particular one, I drew up this little card here, just on a piece of scrapbook paper, use what you have. Um, and I would recommend laminating it just so they can use it more than once with a dry erase marker, but it's completely up to you. And so I went and found stickers for each of the animals. And so we're gonna go through and see how many cows are in this bag. So now they have to just move around and try and find all the cows. So there's one, let's keep looking, see if there's any more, and there's two. So now they're going to practice writing their numbers. Uh, by writing in the number two. Or if they're too young to write the numbers, maybe they could put two dots, um, however you want to do it. And then so on and so forth with the next animals. There's only one rooster. And so this is just really cute. If you were to do a, uh, a farm week in your homeschool preschool or something like that, or just a fun little busy bag, maybe even in the car ride, something, uh, I just think this would be a lot of fun. This next sensory bottle, if you want to call it that, is one that I have shown a few times on my channel just because it's so much fun. Um, this is not a bag or a bottle, but it's definitely a fun little container. So just use what you have, guys. Um, this is actually a Valentine's Day candy heart container from several years ago. And so once we were done with the candy, I just super glued it back together. Um, it does like to bend on me, but that's okay. So inside we have Dollar Tree beads. So we have the heart, stars, flowers, all that. And then we also have the alphabet uh, beads in here as well. And so I just put one of each letter of the alphabet in here. And so now they're going to go through 
and try to find all the letters of the alphabet. So again, this is just a regular piece of paper with some alphabet stickers that I had. And so I have uppercase on one side and lowercase on the other. So depending on what level your child is at, um, you could do this activity. So then again, with the dry erase marker, they would just go through. And so here's the letter W, let's cross that off. Here's the letter E, we'll cross that off. And they'll just go through until they have found all of the letters. And so I really like this one as well. For the next sensory bottle here, I used a one of the big smart waters for this particular one. And so we're going to use this same alphabet chart here, if we want to call it that, um, for this as well. So with this sensory bin, I have split peas and lentils in here. I just liked the color combination and it was a great bottle filler. And then I have objects from my DIY phonics box. If you haven't seen this before, I have done a video, uh, but I basically just collect different miniature objects for each letter of the alphabet and put them in here. And so uh, I will have that linked up above and down below if you have not seen that yet. Uh, but I took one object from each letter of the alphabet and put them in here. Some of them were a struggle trying to get them in that hole, so make sure that they are definitely tiny objects. But again, they're going to go through and find, okay, can I, or here's a tree, so that's the letter T. This is a ribbon, so letter R. So they're just gonna go through um, and find all of the letters of the alphabet with our phonics bottle here. So this next bottle I'm going to show you is actually a dinosaur seam. And this is using a Voss water bottle. So I actually picked these up at the 99 cent store and they have two different sizes. So I bought these Voss water bottles six months ago, maybe longer, I don't even remember now. And they were short ones. And when I went recently to pick up more, they are now a little bit taller. So, uh, I'm not really sure why, but there we go. They were the same price. <laughs> um, you could also find these in packs at other stores, but I could not find them at my Target that I was at. And I knew they were at the 99 cent store, so I just picked them up there. So however you want to do it, they are really great because of their size and because of just the clear plastic here, but also removing the stickers is super easy. So I highly recommend using the Boss bottles if you want to do sensory bottles like this. So inside... Um, it's kind of dirty. It wants to stick to the side here, but I used uh, just oatmeal, like Quaker oats, and I put that in our food processor to make it really fine because I thought it would look cool with the dinosaurs. But as you can see, it is a little bit difficult um, to see the dinosaurs in there. But then I threw in some dinosaur figures that we just had. Um, I actually think they came from like a National Geographic toy set. I don't know if that's the right brand, but anyway, some dinosaur figures that we had on hand and they were able to fit through that hole. And so when we go through a dinosaur theme with our book or our flashcards, whatever the case may be, they can look for that particular um, dinosaur that we're talking about. It's not picking up very well on this video because of all the dust, uh, but it's just really cute. And uh, like I said, I wanted to use the oats because I figured that might be something that people had on hand. Uh, but if you don't have oats, use rice, use whatever you have, guys. Uh, that's really what this is all about. Uh, so yeah, this is just another cute one for dinosaurs. So since I just showed this to you, let's talk about this one. This is our, what I'm calling our galaxy sensory bin. And again, I have showed this before when we did our space week. And so with this one, we have our space flashcards here. Um, for them to match. I might be missing a couple. Um, and then I used the glare is just obnoxious here. So we have black beads, just some blue star sequins that I had, and then some marbles. We have a pretty big marble collection at this point. So I went through and tried to find all the ones that would look like the planets. So like this really great one here has green, blue, and brown on it. So that was perfect for Earth. So when they see that one, they know that's Earth. Okay, I found that one. Then we're gonna go through and uh, let's see, here's the orange one that I think I got for uh, Saturn or something like that. I don't know. They're going to go through <laughs> and try to find all the ones um, with the different marbles that I have here. If you don't have the marbles, you could also get the uh, Safari LTD uh, solar system figures. They are pretty small. I think they would fit in here as well. Um, and so, yeah, I just thought the marbles would be a fun twist on it. And this, again, is another one you could try if you were to do a space theme. Since we're coming up on Valentine's Day, I thought I would show you a past sensory bottle I made before when I did 
um, a video on Valentine's Day activities. This is what I put together uh, using beads, those wooden beads from the Dollar Tree. And then again, just some little objects I had that I think were also in my phonics box maybe. Uh, but we have a flower in there. Well, here's everything that's in there. Um, then I put all the objects on my scanner to scan them um, to make this picture for them so that they know exactly what they should be looking for. Um, and so, yeah, we have XOXO, the letters for love, a heart. So they're just going to go through. And again, this is just a dry sensory bin um, or bottle, dry sensory bottle for them to try to locate all of these items. So this is fun for Valentine's Day. Uh, since it's coming up, maybe you could try and make your own. The last sensory bottle that I put together is this one here. It's a rainbow sensory bottle. Now this is not my idea. I actually saw this on Pinterest, which led me to a YouTube video to show me how to put it together. Um, so this came from Preschool Inspirations. So I will put the tutorial down below in the description box uh, for you if you want to uh, try and figure out how to make it yourself. So it's just a hair gel with the different colors. Nice and simple, but when you hold it up in the light, it's just so pretty. And so I wanted to make one because I love rainbows and the kids love rainbows. <laughs> and so if you were to do a weather week or something in terms of rainbows, I just think this would be a fun one to try. And I wanted to share it with you guys because I think it's really pretty. And when you hold it up in the light, superb. things that I wanted to show you are actually sensory bottles that you could purchase. So the first one are these ones here. I don't even know what you call these, just to be completely honest with you. But we picked these up from Daiso Japan when we were visiting in San Francisco. This was the one toy that the boys picked out. And I believe they were $3 each, I think. Uh, but they really like having this on their shelf in their room in front of their nightlight so that they um, show up in the light. Um, really cool and so ju they just think that these are a lot of fun to watch uh, so this is an option for you if you wanted to purchase some sensory bottles um, I think that these are a lot of fun so I can see if I can find them on Amazon and link them down below if you would like uh, but yeah, this is another option for you. And the last one I have here is a rather large one. This is actually from the brand Find It. You can see here, this is an older one. We actually found this at Goodwill. I think we got it for a dollar, two dollars, something like that. I remember it was like a an amazing deal and I was so excited to find it. Um, and so basically on top here, they have everything that you need to find. So they have all of these different objects and then they also have some alphabet beads, um, kind of like what I had in mine as well. And so then you just have to go through and find all of the objects. And this particular one, the nearly impossible ones to find are the penny, which is right in the middle. And I don't remember what the other one is. Anyway, it has some difficulty levels to it that it took even my husband a super long time to find the penny. It is buried in there. Uh, but yeah, this is another option that you could definitely purchase. We have a melted balloon on here. Gross. But anyway, so this is just another fun one for you to do. They have all kinds of themes from this brand. I know they have a Christmas uh, theme. Uh, oh, I can't even remember. But so many different ones that you could find. So again, I will link that down below from Amazon if you're interested. I do recommend these. These are so cool. So those were my 10 ideas for sensory bags and bottles for you to play with your children. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you would like to see more from me and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.